Hi everybody, welcome to Treasure Time. When we read books with someone special, it's a time that we treasure. And did you know that you are all treasures? I'd like you to sing the treasure song with me. You are a treasure, you are a gem, you are a special spark of the eye verse. We've been talking about farms and this story is about a barn and it's quite an amazing story. It's written by Jason Weber and it is illustrated by 344 people with Kalen Strock. Now, how could 344 people draw a picture together? And it, that's what this book says. So let's just find out why there are 344 people in this book. Farmer Herman had a fantastic farm. He had some amazing animals and a lovely piece of land. But he had a barn with a big, big, big problem. You see, Farmer Herman's barn was at the bottom of a hill. When it rained, the water would run down the hill and flood the barn. When the water would flood the barn, it would fill it way up high so that the barn couldn't be used for anything. If Farmer Herman had needed an indoor swimming pool, he would have been all set. However, he did not need an indoor swimming pool. He needed a barn, and a barn with a bunch of water in it just wouldn't do. If you were Farmer Herman, what would you do? You could drop a highly trained team of fluffy parachuting sheep to soak up the water. Sheep look they could, like they could soak up water, but you know that would be silly. Everyone knows that if you leave a pile of soggy sheep sitting around for too long, they can get moldy. Frank the rooster is allergic to mold. Frank thinks we should skip the sheep idea. I know you could buy a herd of pet elephants that could suck up all the water with their long trunks and shoot it out. But I guess that would also be silly. Everyone knows if you have a barn, you have to be willing to put up with some mice and elephants don't like mice. Wait, of course, you could get a bunch of buckets and just scoop the water out. But that's silly too, because the last time we got out all of our buckets, the cats 
kept using them as boats. You could try asking them not to do this, but let's be honest. You can't reason with a cat. Here's an idea. You could get 344 friends to come over and help you pick up the barn and move it to a place where there is no more water. Now that is really silly. Let me just tell you how silly it is. It is so silly because, now wait a minute, wait just a minute. That just might work. Farmer Herman and his son, Farmer Mike, thought it was silly too at first, but then they thought about it. Farmer Mike went out to the barn and started measuring and counting. He counted up all the boards in the whole barn. He added up their weight and figured out that the barn weighed over 16,000 pounds. Now, 16,000 pounds is really, really, really heavy. It is heavier than 6,000 phone books. Ask an adult what those are. However, Farmer Herman and Farmer Mike figured out that 344 friends working together could lift something that is 16,000 pounds, like a barn, for example. So they went to work. They crisscrossed metal bars through the barn so it would not fall apart. They put metal bar bars in there when they picked it up. And the bars also made great handles. After a lot of planning, a lot of work, and a lot of math, the day to move the barn finally came. And evidently they advertised it in the local paper and they did some very careful arithmetic adding up. On one July morning, 344 people showed up to move the barn and 4,000 people came to watch. Farmer Herman used a microphone and a loudspeaker to help everyone know what they should do. Everybody got in their positions. They reached down at the same time and grabbed a handle. When Farmer Herman told them to lift up with their handles, guess what happened? The barn came up off the ground. Everyone that had come to watch couldn't believe their eyes. After all, they had never seen people pick up a barn before. Everyone cheered. When Farmer Herman asked his 344 friends to start carrying the barn up the hill, guess what happened then? They did just what Farmer Herman said, and the barn started moving up, 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 up the hill. The barn had a new spot on the farm. It was dry, it was perfect, and it only happened because Farmer Herman was willing to try something really silly and do it with 344 of his friends. 
If you were to ask Farmer Herman how someone could accomplish something so big and so silly together with a bunch of your friends, do you know what he would tell you? He'd say, go for it. Hey, wait just a minute. This book isn't done yet. There is still a drawing missing, yours. Draw your favorite animal in the space below. And maybe you can draw a favorite animal at home, a favorite farm animal. And maybe you can draw a barn. Maybe you can draw your own kind of barn. There was a lot of figuring that went into this book, a lot of math, a lot of counting of the boards in the barn and, and a lot of figuring out how much it weighed. It's amazing how you use math and arithmetic in all parts of your life. And a bar barn is built by geometry and planning so when you draw your barn, you just think of how it would be to actually build and plan to build this farm barn. How many boards would you need? How many nails would you need? What kind of supplies would you need? And how many friends would you need to build a barn? This is a happy story, and I hope you guys can visit a farm sometime.